Hello everyone, welcome back to my vlog and this time from the impressive Roman Forum. So the Roman Forum was the main square in ancient Rome. It was the religious and political center of the city and it's located just next to the Colosseum. Now let's have a walk between these ruins. First, we will have a quick look at the Basilica of Maxentius, one of the most impressive structures of ancient Rome. This massive basilica was built in the early 4th century AD and served as a place of justice and commerce for the Roman Empire. The Temple of Romulus is dedicated to Romulus, the mythical founder of Rome and the son of the god Mars. It is believed that the temple was built to commemorate the death of the Emperor Maxentius' son, who was also named Romulus. Here we have one of my favorite temples in the Roman Forum. It's the Temple of Antonius and Faustina. Beautiful temple built by the Emperor Pius for his deceased wife Faustina in the year 141 AD. What a beautiful temple, right? So sad you cannot go inside and look at the beautiful green door over there. So nice. Can you imagine walking around here at this forum back in the day? Must have been amazing listening to some inspiring public speeches on the square. It would be so nice. Watching some gladiator fights. Yes, they did take place here on the forum before the Colosseum was built. Or maybe even get drunk and get crazy, you know. Crazy parties. <laughs> What would they have drink back in the day? Some wine, some beer, chilling at the, the stairs here. Amazing place. So much to see here. All those ruins, beautiful buildings. The one preserved better than the other. Yeah, amazing. Amazing spot. I actually was here before a couple of years ago, but uh, it never ceased to amaze me. Wow. The Temple of Caesar is the centerpiece of the Roman Forum and is dedicated to Julius Caesar. Back in the day, nobody could have been buried inside the city limits, but after the death of Caesar, he was actually the first that got buried here. So let's check out where the remains are now. It's over here. So to be more accurate actually, this place is where the ashes of Caesar were thrown out because there is no tomb, there is no grave. He was cremated. And like you can see, people actually still throw coins or flowers, yeah, or sometimes even leave notes. So in case you want to visit the grave or the ashes of Caesar, it's over here at this spot, here on this pile. Walking through the Roman Forum today, you can still see the remnants of its glorious past, including ruins of temples, ancient marketplaces, public spaces and buildings that were once filled with the hustle and bustle of the daily life. So actually it was not so expensive to visit uh, the Colosseum, the Roman Forum 
and Palatine Hill. It was like 18 euros at this time uh, for all three sides. So that wasn't that bad. If you buy it at the ticket office, of course, it is 16 euro. But yeah, if you pre-book it, you pay like two euro in advance. But you avoid like huge lines to buy the ticket. So. Welcome to the Oratory of the Forty Martyrs, a small chapel located in the heart of Rome, built in the 16th century. This beautiful chapel is dedicated to the Forty Martyrs of Sebaste, a group of Roman soldiers who were persecuted for their Christian faith in the 4th century AD. The interior of the Oratory of the Forty Martyrs is decorated with beautiful frescoes and sculptures that tell the story of the Forty Martyrs and their martyrdom. Today, the Oratory of the Forty Martyrs is a popular destination for visitors who come to admire its beauty and learn about its history. So that has been an awesome visit to the Roman Forum. What a sight. Now let's go to Palatine Hill. The House of the Vestals was the home of the Vestal Virgins, a group of priestesses who were responsible for maintaining the sacred fire that burned in the temple of Vesta. These Vestal Virgins had to follow strict rules and regulations, including their vow to remain pure for the duration of their service. A final quick look at the Arch of Titus before heading to Palatine Hill. What an epic view you have here on the Roman Forum. Look at this. Beautiful spot here inside the Forum on our way to Palatine Hill. Well, look at this amazing view here with over there the Vatican and uh, the Victor Emmanuel II monument where we have been yesterday is over there what a view amazing place Aif very cool it's getting hot in here so take off all your clothes no, Robby, don't take your, off your clothes. Why I cannot take off it's my not, clothes? Because I still need to sleep this night. <laughs> I will have nightmares about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it could be. Probably I'd spend the night in jail as well. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big possibility. <laughs> what would happen if I take off my clothes in the Vatican? <laughs> Write it in the comments. So Palatine Hill is one of the seven hills here in Rome and also one of the oldest parts of the city and uh, look at this now it's like a big open-air museum that can be visited during the day very nice so let's have a walk here at the top of Palatine Hill welcome to Palatine Hill the legendary birthplace of the city this historic site has been inhabited since ancient times and is the home to some of the most impressive ruins of the Roman Empire. Here you can discover the remains of magnificent palaces that once belonged to emperors and other members of the Roman elite. There are also myths and legends that surround Palatine Hill, including the story of Romulus and Remus, the legendary founders of Rome, who were said to have been raised by a she-wolf, over here we have the Domus Augustana, a magnificent palace built in the 1st century AD. The Domus Augustana was the private residence of the Roman emperors and one of the most impressive buildings of the Roman Empire. The Domus Augustana was the private residence of the Roman emperors. The Palatine Stadium was used for various athletic contests. It was built in the 1st century AD. Its oval shape was designed to accommodate running and wrestling competitions. Now it is time to leave Palatine Hill and walk to our final destination in this video, Circus Maximus. 
originally built in the 6th century BC and expanded over the centuries by various emperors. So right now I'm here at the Circus Maximus. It was actually the first and largest stadium in ancient Rome. Like you can see here, it could fit around 150,000 people and it was mainly used for chariot races. Like you can see, one part of it is a museum and uh, the other part at the end is a public park where you can walk, run, work on your conditioning, something I should do more to be honest. Uh, but yeah, it's an awesome place, check it out. So this was it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this walk. We saw today Palatine Hill, we saw the Roman Forum, the Colosseum, yeah such an amazing place and to end our day here at Circus Maximus, so nice. Gonna relax a little bit here at the stadium or the Purbuck Park now and uh, I hope I see you guys on another video. Take care. Cheers.